So you want to grow vegetables indoors? You'd like to know more about that? How about tomatoes? Tomatoes are one of everybody's favorite vegetable. So I'm going to show you exactly what I'm doing. Right behind me, you can see that I have a tomato plant. It is called a Cherry Falls Dwarf Tomato. Start with dwarf tomatoes because they're easier to light. They produce heavily. This light is from Osri and it's a GL1000 and it pulls about a little bit below 100 watts. So for the cost of a typical 100 watt light in your home, you could have ripe tomatoes. What I'd like to show you right now is how well that does. This is the plant. It's about 36 inches across, 24 inches across going the other way. It has grown to accommodate the light. It's amazing how plants adapt to the lights. This Osri light is about 12 inches above the top of the very most high branches and you could see all the flowers on this plant are just coming on fantastically. For 100 watts, you might be like, what do I get? Here's what you get. Ripe tomatoes. Delicious tomatoes as well. And there's really not that much difference between the flavor of those are soil grown. You might wonder how well does it produce? And the answer to that question would be that I have several green tomatoes that are forming all over the place. They're nice size too, so I like this uh, Cherry Falls uh, tomato variety even though it is the first time that I've grown it. Based on the number of flowers, number of tomatoes, I would say that uh, this has been very worthwhile and extremely easy to take care of because what looks like a trash can is actually a reservoir of water and plant food. There's a small tube that comes out the bottom of that and if you'd like to see inside the container I will just uh, go ahead and pull the lid off and see down in the bottom there that the nutrients and the water have nothing inside to aerate and this is the container that the plant is growing in. It's 6.6 .6 gallons and it is sub watered from the tray that that reservoir feeds into. There's actually a valve on the back side of this tray that gravity feeds the water level in. It comes up to about yay high and then will drop, kind of like the natural uh, rise and fall of rain. And so the plant uh, gets all of its water from the bottom that wicks up into the grow media, which is cocoa and perlite. That does another great thing as well. It helps to prevent leaf diseases because tomatoes, when watered from above, will oftentimes get leaf disease. If you have had issues with tomato plants outdoors getting diseases indoors is a very nice way to go. If you keep a nice clean environment, you will never have to worry about those diseases. No grow tent, no problem either. This is actually a garment rack from a store that I picked up. I don't even worry about putting these into a grow tent. No need for a dark cycle that is perfectly dark. About six hours of darkness per day is what a tomato plant needs. If you do pick up a grow light, try to get one that has a mixture of warm and cool LED it doesn't hurt to pick up a grow light that also has a UV or infrared uh, diodes either. So that's really all there is to it. The reservoir will take me through several months without having to rewater. The plant doesn't uh, get all that big. With the indeterminate type of tomato, I should expect to see 8 to 12 months of harvesting tomatoes off of this plant.